Good morning, Year 7. I hope you're well and having a lovely day. Welcome to today's lesson on the poem Mother Any Distance. For this lesson, you'll need a pen, your exercise book and paper or paper, coloured pens or pencils, and a copy of the poem. Don't forget to pause the audio to complete the tasks before moving on. Please get to write the date and title Mother Any Distance. Then complete the do now. When you are older and you move out the house, how will you feel? How will your parents feel? Pause the video for two minutes to answer those questions. I would now like you to read the poem. Try to visualise the images Armitage creates as you read it and answer the questions below. What is the poem about? Who is the speaker talking to and why? Pause the video for five minutes to do this now. Mother any distance, greater than a single span, requires a second pair of hands. You come to help me measure windows, palmets, doors, the acres of the walls, the priories of the floors. You at the zero end, me with a spool of tape, recording length, reporting metres, centimetres back to base, then leaving up the stairs, the line still feeding out, unreading the years between us. Anchor, kite. I spacewalk through the empty bedrooms, climb the ladder to the loft, to breaking point where something has to give. Two floors below your fingertips still pinch the last one hundredth of an inch. I reach towards a hatch that opens on an endless sky to fall or fly. Okay, so what's the poem about? In Mother Any Distance, the narrator asks his mother to come and help him measure his new house. It is suspected that he might be moving house soon and so needs his mother to help him with measuring holding the tape while he walks away. The narrator is looking forward to being independent, but is also worried about it. The speaker is talking to his mother, perhaps looking for reassurance. He is directly addressing her for help. Please make a note of the answers in your book. Read the poem again. This time, highlight all the imagery in the poem. So for example, any distance greater than a single span requires a second pair of hands. So you've got clear imagery here of the span of a hand. If you're really struggling, look at the next slide and I've given you some more images to find. If you think you're okay, don't look at the next slide. Okay, so we've got um, an anchor, a tape, a kite and someone up in space. Okay, so what I'd like you to do next, choose one of the images and explain the purpose um, and effect of the image. Try to also identify if there is a language and or structure technique used. For example, single span. This is the distance greater than his own hands, showing he needs his mother to help him and her, su and her support is still vital to him. He doesn't feel he can be too far away from her yet. The alliteration perhaps highlights his uncertainty of being so far away from his mother. Pause the video for 10 minutes to answer these questions. You now need to make your own notes on your poem. I will definitely include everything on this slide. Acres of the walls, the priories of the floors. These metaphors create images of adventure, but acres and priories suggest a huge space, so perhaps he feels daunted by this. Unreeling years between us, anchor, kite. The unreeling tape is a metaphor and represents their shared history together. Perhaps he is thinking back through all the years as if replaying it. The mother is the anchor, trying to hold back the son who is the kite, trying to fry, fly free away from her. Both are metaphors. The two one-word sentences slow down the pace of the poem, suggesting he feels apprehensive and thoughtful. The metaphor of the space walk could suggest how great a step this is for the son to break free of his mother by moving into this new house. The space walk also connotes moving slowly and unnaturally as if it isn't really happening to him and feels surreal. To breaking point, where something has to give. Breaking points is a metaphor showing the relationship needs to change eventually. He needs his independence. Your fingertips still pinch, the last one hundredth of an inch. Pinch emphasises how desperately she's holding on and suggests pain. Last one hundredth of an inch shows she's there to the very end, but eventually lets go, shown by the ellipsis. Towards a hatch that opens on an endless sky, to fall or fly. 
endless sky show if you think the possibilities of being independent are limitless. To fall or fly is burden and imagery, suggesting that he's breaking free of his mother's grasp, but doesn't know if he'll succeed. Structure. I would like you to make notes on the following. What does the ellipsis, the three, three dots, represent? The form of the poem is a sonnet, 14 lines. Why? There is an extra line, 15th line. Why? What's the effect? And what does the rhyming couplet show at the end? Pause the video for five minutes to answer these questions. Ellipsis. The ellipsis here could signify a passing of time, indicating that the final line of the poem refers to some time after the rest of the poem. It could also represent a change in attitude and emotion, as the speaker talks about reaching for an endless sky, as if they are now ready to become independent, regardless of whether they fall or fly. Sonnets are associated with love, and it is a loving relationship with his mother. The extra 15th line makes you focus on the last line, highlights the contrast between fall and fly, emphasises his worry about what will happen when he leaves, and the rhyming couple at the end show that they will both always be close and connected in some way. Which of these statements best sums up the whole poem and why? Write the one that you think is correct. The poem is about moving from dependence to independence. The poem depicts a move from present to future. The poem focuses on a relationship, moving from being close to being apart. The poem portrays a shift from security to risk. Pause the video for two minutes to write your chosen statements. Okay, so what I would like you to do now is to use a step-by-step -step guide to answer the question, how does Armitage present a mother-son relationship in his poem? Choose one of the main points below. Armitage presents a mother-son relationship, which moves from dependence to independence. Armitage presents a mother-son relationship, which goes from being close to being apart. Or Armitage presents, uses a mother-son relationship to show the anxiety surrounding moving from feelings of security to feelings of risk. Next, choose a technique to comment on. Contrast, extended metaphor, ellipsis, um, or another one. Then remember to include evidence to support your analysis. You could use this wording, which is depicted, portrayed, or presented in this line. To develop your explanation and analysis, you could use one or more of these sentence starters. Here, Armitage is showing that. His use of the word tells us that. This is significant because, alternatively, Armitage could be saying, Furthermore, we could see this idea in the line. Overall, Armitage is presenting the relationship as. Pause the video for 15 minutes to do this now. Well done for today's lesson. You might want to cherish the time you have at home with your family and the support you get and the help you get from them before you are ready to fly and leave the nest. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.